Hello, Alan and Elaine. First of all, apologies, apologies because I was going to um, try and film the breakdown of the car in its entirety. What happened was, um, I filmed an intro, I'll probably pop the intro on into the, at the beginning of this video just to show you, um, or I'll put it on now. Hello, good morning and welcome to My Suzuki. Today's video is gonna be quite a long one, so it's going to have a little bit of time lapse and I'm gonna keep waffling to a minimum. Um, the subject of the video is the car behind us, um, JB74 Generation 4 New Shape Gymnite. We're going to break it down, we're going to break it down, we're going to take the rear bumper off, the front bumper off, everything involved with it, um, all the um, all the underneath um, arch liners and we're going to give it a really good clean. Then we're going to get it up in the air, we're going to mask it, we are going to mask the bodywork the upper upper body of the car we're going to mask the anything underneath that needs masking the engine bay we are then going to give it a full full dinner troll under body treatment and this is why it's going to be it's going to be over a few days and it is going to be relatively lengthy lengthy but we're going to edit it we're going to time lapse we're going to speed things up as it's going along but we're going to try and anything that's relevant as in how the lights come out, how the bumpers come off, anything like that. Um, anything of interest, I'm going to slow it down, talk, and then speed it back up again. Hopefully, that's the plan. So, with a view to me not waffling and going on too much, let's get right on with it. Um, so, you can see that um, I set it all up, got, the, got it ready. It was a lovely day. Um, Got part way through it and it absolutely came down torrentially. Um, so I had to pull everything in quickly. Um, when it stopped, took it all back out, tried again, came down again, absolutely throwing it down, bucketing it down. So with the breakdown, um, it was all done in the garage. It's a bit claustrophobic um, to try and try and position the camera so you can see what I'm doing, so I can explain what I'm doing. Another reason was um, because it's something I've never done before, uh, it's very familiar but very different uh, the fixings were different the way things fixed on it was one of these things where every five minutes i was sitting thinking is this the way to do it is that the way to do it is this the best way to do it um lots of lots of press studs slightly different design and everything but i'll go through that and what i'm going to do i'm going to show you what i've took off what i've left on why i took off what i left off and why i've left on what i did leave on if that makes sense. So here we are. Car is looking very, very, very um, front end missing. I have taken off the grill needed to come off. The could have possibly got away with not taking the headlights, but I think it's probably better if we pull everything back there and get the under seal right, but right back to um, so it's covering everything around here, just in case. Um, the, the front panel, which normally on a Mark III will come all the way along there and it lips up onto where the bonnet shuts to it. Um, well, the bonnet shuts over it, but it sits across the front. The front panel, which was such an issue before, not in Japan because of the lack of salt, but um, I'm quite sure they were aware there was a corrosion issue with the front panels. I think they've completely redesigned it and I'm, I would be very, very, very surprised if they hadn't took it into account. Um, the way things throw up and the way salt sits, or the way salt sits on uh, in countries that use, use salt. So the majority of everything is a lot lower down, down here. This, as you can see, if you can see that it runs all the way around and it becomes part of the bodywork. To take this off, um, there was not really going to be a lot of benefit apart from getting slightly behind a couple of these but what I'll do I will mask all the paintwork off and get um, under and over it there was a big plastic uh, cover across this one um, the uh, the arch liners were quite difficult to get off to be honest um, not quite as easy as the other ones um, and that might just be 
because I've not done it before, but but what we'll do, I'll try and show you under there. And as you can see, there it is now absolutely clean as a whistle. It's been sat out here drying the majority of the day. I uh, did it all first thing, cleaned it all, washed it all, blew it all off with um, with air from the compressor to drive it out of the, um, the tubes and the connecting pipe. So you can see this absolutely what I will do is mask all this, mask everything off. I will show you all the all the eggs, um all the masking. Oh I'm going what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take pictures of all things like this so that I will remember where they're all located. And round to the back of the car we have no bumper, obviously no bumper. The little bag there is the electrics. The electrics are, well, it's the loom, the connector for the all the lights that are in the bumper and the reversing camera. One thing you will see, if we pop underneath here, is exhaust off. So the other, the other danger area uh, or area of concern the Mark III gym night is, I'll just tilt it up for you. The panel just below the boot space, which on the under, underside is sat underneath, uh, sorry, sat above the exhaust. So with all the Mark III's, I've made a decision already that I'm gonna try my best to take the exhaust off. It was a walk in the park in this one simply because it was Pretty much a brand new system so it, it, the, the nuts just came off so i just put some exhaust paste on put it back together when i put it on it does sound it does sound quite good it sounds a little bit blurry but it sounds it burbles now with the um so if you were going to think of any sort of uh upgrades an aftermarket exhaust wouldn't go amiss on this and it would it would it completely changes the sound and the tone of the vehicle it, it sounds really 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 interesting with the uh, with the back off. So yeah, I thought I had the key in my pocket. And there we've got all it needs. I, I haven't been able to uh, wash that properly. I will wash that down by hand when it goes into the garage because uh, just to save all the water going in now, a lot of the insides out, as you can see. Uh, all the interior will come out, but it won't come out until it might as well live in here until the Dinatrol underbody treatment's done. Then the interior can come out to do the uh, full valet. And then when the interior is back in, then we'll finish off and do all the paintwork. So well on the way, nice and dry now, ready to Ready to move to the next stage. I'm just clearing the garage out now because it's, it is a slightly different dimension than, than the Mark III's. The Mark III's, I put them in diagonally so they fit perfectly. And I will look out for the next instalment. Right, so as promised, a little bit of an update. Um, car is now, it's going to be a bit difficult because it's got really, really windy. The car's now completely wrapped and got its new wheels on. I hope you like them. Um, and it's up on the blocks. So it's literally the uh, wing mirrors are eye level. Everything, the wheel arches that you can see from been on axle stands where the where the suspensions dropped down We're done with uh, the stone chip everything that you can't get to with the wheels on so the wheels come off to mask off the brakes and give access to everything from that you need to fire from outwards in, inwards if that makes sense and now it's up on the blocks it's a 
lot 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 safer it's absolutely safe to get underneath get anything that we couldn't get from outside now from inside outwards and it doesn't matter about the back of the wheels because the back of the wheels are old wheels and they go into every car um, just got to finish masking off underneath where there, there's going to be some engine components that we don't really want to get any uh, any of the product on exactly the same as the back at the back I did take some pictures while I was doing it I did I did take a quick video doing the doing the tubes so we did the chassis and the tubes first Um, no, it wasn't the greatest video because obviously I had uh, I tried to show it, show me doing it, but I had a mask on so I couldn't narrate it. Um, I had a torch and a phone in one hand and the gun in the other, so it was uh, a bit of a juggling act. But um, yeah, I'm gonna the exhaust I took off obviously, as you know, just to get the underneath um, above the back box. All this will be done now from from underneath and behind. It's a lot higher up, a lot easier to get to. Uh, all the, and same as the front, all the inside of the inner arches are done. This is the back, back near side wheel. And we've got as far as we can in between everything that you can see from here. And it's, a, it's just a case of moving backs and forwards underneath it and opening up different angles you won't really be able to see down there but that is that's the end of the chassis rails it's got some of the, the black product in the underbody but it's also further down it's got where we, we injected with the with the spray this is um goes inside it, it's a slightly different design than the generation three as i said before absolutely sure they will have looked at anything that anything that was an issue and designed it to not be an issue that's why this far less so I had a really good look at this and it for what benefit you were getting this tiny little bits of metal here and there the, the headlights are pretty much suspended above there everything starts below this panel which is bodywork um, so obviously there's there's a front panel which is just aesthetics. This is this is where it all starts to become um, structural, which is going to be blasted shortly. But I'm going to finish off masking masking the bottom of the radiator off, and then get on with it. I might put a little bit of tape back to uh, just pull these back so I can see. Um, somebody called. Yesterday, when I when I just started doing the masking, uh, and the garage was open, and they looked at it and they said, "Oh, is that a G wagon?" And it does, it does have the silhouette of a G wagon. It really does. Um, doing some more photos and video when I've done the underbody, and I'll do the whole underbody, and, and I'll show you um, show you how it looks. Right, so this is the view from underneath. It's gonna be quite um, difficult to get your orientation. Um, if I show you that, that's that's outside. This is the front end. Um, 
This is where we're going to start. That's the diff, and that's the that's the back of the that's the back of the brakes with the with the wheel on. And we're going to move down um, down the vehicle from the front to the back. That is that's the underneath of the radiator and everything. The bottom of the engine. Quite tricky to mask all that off, but um, I think it's worth it so it doesn't get everywhere. Uh, right behind there is the alternator, the fan belt, um, all the belts that you don't want coated in product. Now it has got, oh, there's the, there's the beginning of the exhaust, the manifold out. It's, it's going to be difficult to get hold of that. The entirety of the exhaust, if you look there from, well, when I say from front to back, from, from pretty much the cat back, is masked off um, with the back boxes off. That's the uh, that's all the masking that goes right up to the edge of the bodywork, so that we can spray right up, up and inside all the cells. That's a good look at the uh, the stone chip that's on all the wheel arches. We put more stone chip on on the chassis rail itself, and just just a normal anti-corrosion product all, all underneath now it does have some degree or, or quite quite um quite a good amount of um underbody's protection and you can feel it there it's it's quite soft a little bit waxy but the issue is um or when i say the issue probably a cost thing there's quite a lot of it on, but it's like, I don't know if you can see it, it it's, you can see it there, it stops there. So all that is, all that is normal metal. You've got this product that goes to there and it stops there. So then this is, this is just bare metal and, and it's not rust, it's, do you know what I mean? It, well, it, it's, it's the hint of the beginning of rust. If you can see just in there, just on this edge, it's like a bare edge, there's the tiniest, tiniest look of where it, where it will begin on, on the edge. It's, it, it's fine, it's just, it's just that's where it finishes. It finishes there, and that's, that's where it will be going on that edge in the future at some point. Um, you what you more than likely wouldn't know, but this is a completely dis different design. What they had before, they had two tubes going across. This they designed a really intricate um, crisscross affair. Got some more mass in there, which is the transfer box, um, and it's mainly because it's. Uh, it's an alloy, it looks like it's aluminium and it's got quite a lot of plugs into it. Thought I would just um, mask that off to keep it nice and clean. This as well, last part of the exhaust. That's got some product on it from, coming in from the wheels, if you, if you can see the, uh, that's Heidi, she rings me every so often to see if I'm all right. Don't come out to see me or bring me a drink. <laughs> she just rings to say you're still okay. Um, the, and again, the rear diff. Not a very old car, but this happens on everything. And if we're getting to focus, it's just the merest hint of rust. I mean, that, that will take a long, 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 long time to get hold. But it's the sort of thing that salt and water will, ac will accelerate and this is the whole point of doing what we're doing this area here um if you can orientate uh, yourself that's the that's the open end of the exhaust this area here will be completely covered by the back box so and this is it, and, it, and it has got that same product on again but this is the area where um, the front panel and the rear area. But again, 
Again, it's got this product on. And that there's bare metal. So it's. They have they have put more on than the older chimneys. But they, but it's not everywhere. Um, and I don't mean I know I keep saying this, but it's got to be a cost thing. It's the whole of the back of the rear brakes. And hub will be done. Everything, everything around here, um, the diff. We've got everything as, as much as we can from the top, finished about there, um, and we can get underneath it. All the rear arch is done. All that stone chip, same as the other side. Um, yeah, and it's ready to go. And also, there's, as I showed you before, there's right up until the bottom. Or, the, or, the, or where the where the body meets meets the underbody, and all these all these are the sort of things which will crab all the rust um, on on the nuts on the bolts, and I'm not hundred percent sure it's about. It's half past seven, to be honest. You know how, how you look—you lose track of time. I'll go in and see what Heidi wants. She probably wants me to have something to eat with her. Uh, so we'll crack on with this first thing in the morning, and then I'll shoot you a video of of how it looks underneath. It's a little bit difficult to see things under here because there's there's plenty of room for me to fit in, but to get the camera far enough back and for you to be able to orientate yourself, it is difficult. And it's now that it's now underneath shooting upwards. You might not be able to hear me quite as well. Because I've got it on the end of a stick, but this is pretty much hopefully it's uh you're coping with the or orientation of it. This is as we're going back underneath the body now, this is these are the sills. And the chassis legs. But you should also be able to see, I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit louder so you can hear better, is that the exhaust is nice and clean. Rear arches, just zoom up into the rear arches. And the back of the car, you get high enough, there are uh, there's a couple of fittings that, that cover all this and then the bumper will be going back on. And this area, oh, that you can, should be able to see, is where the back box goes. So taking the back box off means the whole floor underneath the boot space can be done. And then you've got the diff. And back of the brakes, everything, everything's done there. And what we're going to do now is, I can spin it round. While it's, while it's up as high as it is, I'm going to polish it up and up as far as the windows. I'm going to polish it up as far as about here. Obviously I'll do, do both pillars, the uh, the A pillar, B pillar, C pillar and leave the bonnet until it's down on the floor so that I can rest on the bonnet but it's high enough that I can get good access to it. I'm going to cut it, polish it, wax it, then drop it back down. In fact I probably won't wax it, I'll probably cut and polish it drop it back down, cut and polish the, the roof and the bonnet and then, then wax them.